Welcome back. Today we are combining Listen Up, Hollywood with Hugo, and The Close Up to bring you KUJH's first entertainment roundtable on the 2021 Golden Globes. To start off, let's take a look at some of the most noteworthy moments from the Golden Globes. Before the award show even aired, there was already controversy about the lack of diversity within the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, which was brought to light by the Los Angeles Times. Members of the HFPA addressed the issue on stage, while both hosts Tina Fey and Amy Poehler used humor to call it out. Inclusivity is important, and there are no black members of the Hollywood Foreign Press. I realize HFPA, maybe you guys didn't get the memo because your workplace is the back booth of a French McDonald's, but you gotta change that. Our next top moment would be the emotional acceptance speech given by Taylor Simone Ledward on behalf of her late husband, Chadwick Boseman, who died of colon cancer last August. He would say something beautiful, something inspiring, something that would amplify that little voice inside of all of us that tells you you can. Bozeman won Best Actor in a Motion Picture. And then honorable mention goes to Kansas City native Jason Sudeikis. He accepted the award for Best Actor in a TV Series while wearing a tie-dye hoodie. Truly iconic. I'm not gonna lie, I teared up when Chadwick's Bozeman's wife started talking. Oh my gosh, you guys saw me, I had streams. Mm-hmm, and then Jason, the fact that he said that thank you in a tie-dye hoodie while everybody was wearing suits? Yeah, he could have at least gotten dressed, at least from he the waist up. But hey, I Kansas City native one, so I'm not going to complain. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we can't talk about the Golden Globes if we do not mention the winners. The Crown took every award, Borat beat Hamilton, and a woman took the award for Best Director. <laughs> The Golden Globes was a night full of winners and stars, but one filmmaker was the brightest of them all, Chloe Zhao, the director of Nomadland. The Chinese filmmaker became the first Asian woman to be nominated for Best Director, but ended up taking the globe and becoming the first to be given the title, beating big time directors like David Fincher and Aaron Sorkin. If that wasn't enough, Xiao's Nomadland took the Golden Globe for Best Drama Motion Picture. Thanks for everyone. Uh, thank you, uh, Hollywood Foreign Press, and <laughs> thank you, my fellow nominees. Thank you for making beautiful, beautiful movies. Golden Globes are known for showing a sneak peek of the Oscars, and I kind of have a feeling she's going to be on it. Yeah, I mean, I think this was great. We're starting to see more Asian representation, and I'm here for it. Something they were called out for. So, mm -hmm. I mean, taking their time, surely, but it's happening. She's the second woman to ever get this award. First Asian woman. I mean, record is already made. Three women, three women were nominated for best director. Three women, two men. Stay Have we ever seen that? No. I don't think so. But like I said, um, Oscars are coming up. We'll see what happens there. I'm excited. Yes. Now, even though there was no red carpet this year, that doesn't mean that we cannot critique the best and worst looks. So sit down and enjoy the ride as we look at the top three best and worst looks from the Golden Globes. It wouldn't be the Golden Globes if we didn't talk about award show glamour. Let's start with the looks that sold the show. Taking the number three spot is Sofia Carson's Guillaume Batista Valley gown. Dan Levy, the Schitt's Creek star, comes in at number two wearing couture Valentino. Anna Taylor-Joy takes the number one spot wearing an emerald Dior dress styled by celebrity stylist La Roche. Not everyone looked top notch on the carpet though. I'm sorry guys, here are the worst looks. Coming in at number three is Jared Leto. The Little Things actor wore a floral brooch with a Gucci suit. He wasn't the only one wearing Gucci. Jackson Lee, Spike Lee's son, wore Gucci as well, but I'm not quite sure what look he was going for. And taking the number one spot is Maya Rudolph in a Valentino dress with Jimmy Choo sandals. What do you guys think? That's I, a fair list. I'll say that. I mm. like Jackson's look. Did you like Jared Leto's big little I rubber flat? Okay, I thought right. it was very him, weirdly enough. You Unpopular know. opinion, you know I me. just, Maya Rudolph, I think she's great with what she does, but it looked like she was going to Hawaii. I agree. I'm very that, disappointed. I'm not going to disagree. Worst stress we saw. <laughs> yeah. Well, that wraps up our Golden Globes roundtable next week. I will be talking to Joseph Lee Anderson, a Kansas City actor who's playing the Rock's dad in his new sitcom, Young Rock. Stay with us.